every one of these 10 years, the range of talent on display is absolutely astonishing. We have in the past honored Indian Americans who are politicians, astronauts, then you have Indira Nui heading PepsiCo. So you will see the surprising range of talent that is on display. Welcome to the 10th annual India Abroad Person of the Year. Just like every other awardee this evening, I'm humbled to be here. And this is not my award, this is our award. In terms of the India Abroad honor, that today is something I'm very, very proud of and very, very touched that this community of friends and family would come together and recognize the work and service uh, that we've pursued together in this manner. So it's really very, very meaningful. Well, I'm enormously grateful not only for this award, but for the enormous contribution that India Abroad has made over now four decades to American understanding of India, as well as to connecting uh, those of us who are really involved with the country. Well, I think what's important about this event, it's it's an opportunity to really highlight the, the, the really the cream of the crop of the Indo-American community. I was just wondering, uh, you know, what are these kids going to become? They're going to be superstars, and on that scale, we are pretty average. So, so this event's going to continue to get bigger and bigger. Just incredible! Pull out your phones. You're seeing such talent all together in one place. Just amazing. It's within the next 10 years that we see the first Indian American senator. And one of these days, I think we're going to have a celebration here where we've got an Indian American president. Good evening. Thank you for letting me come by. So here we are in the U.S. laboratory. Its name is Destiny. Let's continue on. At the um, Vanity Fair party after the Oscars, and I was, had the pleasure of sitting down very late at night next to the great film director Robert Altman. He had just won a Lifetime Achievement Award, and he was holding it. And I said to him, can I hold your Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, it's bad luck, you know. And I said, why? He said, well, if you hold my Oscar, you'll never win one. And I said, just give me the damn Oscar. <laughs> so I held his Oscar, and you see, he was quite wrong, because now I have one of a lifetime achievement award. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I really am honored to be chosen for this coveted award. India Abroad has long been a source of news from two cherished communities that I rely on, Mother India, the land of my birth, and heritage, my very roots. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, I'm just so happy and uh, it's an embrace by the community, which is a great embrace. And for years, I was the Dhobika Kutta who was never understood either at home nor abroad. So it's lovely to feel this embrace. Thanks very much. Uh, it, it, is, it is an incredible honor simply to be invited to this event, much <laughs> less uh, to get an award at this event. I had basically three goals that were set for me by my parents. Uh, first, uh, go to medical school. <laughs> I totally failed at that. Second, uh, win a spelling bee. No good at that one either. Uh, and the third, was to appear in India abroad. <laughs> <laughs>